guys, here is my long overdue apartment tour. I've been here for like five months at this point, but still hadn't posted a tour. All right, well, so when you first come into my apartment on the right, there is a closet. It's kind of messy, as you can see. It's basically just where I keep my tools and like Christmas decorations and stuff and vacuum cleaner, mop, broom, extra lights, light bulbs, that kind of thing. Then over here on the left side, there is another closet, but this is just the maintenance closet, so not super interesting. But this whole little area over here is where my washer dryer is and is also where my desk is. They have this built-in desk in the apartment, but I don't really use it. As you can see, I just have boxes. Then over here behind these doors is my washer and dryer. I absolutely love having an in-unit washer dryer. Very thankful it's not a like clubhouse community situation. Then up top I have all the normal laundry stuff that you need. Laundry pods in this mason jar over here that aren't candy, I guess I should clarify since people seem to want to eat those now. And then just more detergent, fabric softener, stain removers, color catchers, that kind of stuff. And then over on the far left is where I keep extra sheets, pillowcases, blankets, and whatnot. Then we keep going, and this is my bathroom. It is very long, just like a runway, basically. I don't know why it's <laughs> like that. Um, that is an old shower curtain. If you've seen past apartment tours, you might recognize it. And I have a lot of space in here for storage, which I really like. And I also have a lot of counter space, which is very nice because as you can see, I definitely use it. I have a lot of lotion, perfume, deodorant, skincare, hair care products, that type of stuff on my counter. Then in the drawers up top, this is not particularly well organized, but I just have like extra makeup, contacts, that kind of stuff in the top drawer. The next one has my extra cotton swabs and cotton balls in it, as well as extra hair ties and razors and whatnot. And then my last drawer is a tangled mess of a hair dryer and a straightener and curling iron and that kind of stuff. And then I have a closet and more space, as you can see. I really don't need all of it, but I appreciate it. At the very bottom, I have my laundry basket, and then I have extra hair care, skin care type stuff. Then my steamer, hand towels, extra body towels, and beach towels in that closet. Now let's move on to my bedroom. It's kind of empty, as you can see, a little bit barren. Not working with a whole lot of decorations and furniture in here because I, I was on a budget. You know, I did my best. We're trying out here. This is my desk over here where I pretty much just do my makeup. I don't do a whole lot of stuff at this desk besides just putting on my makeup in the morning. And the little, like, shelves over here i have jewelry and extra stationery and stuff in those boxes on the bottom this chair i got i th it was either amazon or walmart i can't remember where i ordered it from but i didn't think it was that cute the cute ones are really expensive like i looked for a nice white one but it was like 80 dollars, so we didn't do that so instead i just threw this white rug over the top of it Above the desk, I have these two pictures. They're actually just printouts that I printed and bought a couple of frames from, of course, Walmart and just put those up on my wall with command strips. My bed, if you've seen my apartment tour from my last apartment, you might recognize it. It is the same one that I've had for two years now, I guess. And then that painting above my bed is something that I've had since like early high school. My bedside table, pretty barren have notebooks and tissues in the bottom, and then and then a lamp that I want to get a new one because this one my mom gave me, I think, and it doesn't really match my room, but I just have it because she gave it to me for free. Then I have a coaster, a pen, and a devotional. This ottoman I've had for so long, I truly don't remember where I got it or how long I've had it. Then this set of drawers, also from Walmart, just like the bedside table, I don't think I mentioned that. And the desk is from Walmart. I get a lot of things from Walmart. And on top of it, I just have this picture from me and my parents at my college graduation and some jewelry and then a watercolor painting that one of my friends got me in Paris. Moving on to the closet. Again, not super well organized. I think we're seeing a theme here, but it does the job. Uh, I have my clothes hung up. Jackets down there in that corner, shoes all around the wall. Um, and then I have 
some extra blankets up top, those two square storage bins, some extra bags and whatnot over on the right side. And we're back to my clothes again. All right, now let's go back into the main part of the apartment. This is the living room, dining room area, but let's head over to the kitchen first. So I have this little island area on this side. And then when you walk into my kitchen, as you can see, there's an oven that's turned on because I'm cooking something at the moment. And then a bunch of storage that I don't necessarily really need. I have a lot of extra drawers in here too, like this bottom one right here, there's nothing in it. It's empty, which is a common theme. There's quite a few drawers that don't have anything in them. Uh, this one just has Tupperware. This one over here just has random extra stuff. I'm not gonna go through all my drawers, but you get, you get the gist, general kitchen things. Up on the counter, I have my toaster, my coffee maker, and then over there on the right side is my cutting board. I have some just general cooking stuff and coffee stuff above the coffee maker, which would make sense, right? Over here, this is where I keep most of my plates, bowls, cups, mugs, what have you. A lot of them are not in there at the moment because they're currently in the dishwasher. Then down here is where I keep my silverware. Again, a lot of it's in the dishwasher, so it's kind of empty. And down here, pots and pans and whatnot in the bottom shelf. Sorry, it's kind of dark and a little bit hard to see, but again, you get the gist, right? There's the famous dishwasher where all my cups and bowls and plates and everything are. Under the sink, general cleaning things, extra paper towels, a big commodity right now. Then my cupboard, you know, just extra food in there. And yeah, that's that's my kitchen area. Here's a, a little overview. Let's move into the quote unquote dining room. I don't actually really use my dining room table, which guess where I got it? That's right, Walmart. It's a little extra cute right now because someone gave me some flowers, so it has decoration on the table. Most of the time it's pretty barren. But I do have this little home thing hanging above it. Over here I have my bookshelf. On top of it I have a candle, a lantern, a painting that I just recently made, and a picture of me and my best friend. And then books, as you typically have in a bookcase. And then in the middle layer, I have another lantern and then two little just decorations. This is my TV stand. Underneath it, I have a picture of me and my friends from Gatlinburg over this past winter break when we went there together. And some paintings in the back that you can't really see that I did. There's my tripod right there. That's pretty much always there. And here's just a kind of an overview of where I sit every day. Over here's my coffee table. Uh, I have a notebook with some pens because I do a lot of writing in notebooks. Coasters over here and remotes, obviously. Uh, on the bottom shelf, I have my work laptop, my personal laptop, and a bunch of notebooks because again, I like notebooks. Over on my side table, I have uh, another picture of me and my best friend at my graduation, a lamp, and a candle. And underneath it, more paintings that I've done because like I said, budget. Then my couch. Uh, I have four pillows and then a throw blanket because I'm always randomly getting cold. And the couch I actually didn't get at Walmart, by the way. I got it off Amazon, but the coffee table and the side table I did get from Walmart. Uh, and then I have just my painting supplies over here in this corner. And you see, I have what they call a French balcony, which is a sliding door, like a balcony door, that leads out to railing. But yeah, that's it. That's my apartment this is home. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a like. You can also subscribe to me if you want. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.